channel. Welcome to my kitchen. This is the effect. Today we are going to make delicious, healthy butternut squash soup. It is going to be roasted butternut squash soup, so it's going to be a little bit more delicious than the other ones. So if you want to learn how to make this soup, go ahead and subscribe my channel and also all other delicious recipes too. If you want to learn how to cook with me with EPEC, don't forget to like, share and now let's get started. When I roast any vegetable, I love their taste and I believe their taste is getting a little way better. That's why I decided to make this soup with roasted butternut squash. First, I'm cutting my butternut squash. Be careful at this part because they are hard. Don't cut yourself. Just take your time. Be slow. You don't need to rush. And you can move your knife like I am doing in the video because it was more easy for me. So just try and see if it is easy for you. You can use that way you don't need to cut in a cube pieces they're just going to cook in the oven it doesn't matter really how big or how small you are cutting and if you never see inside of the butternut squash it has such a beautiful orange color in this part here is its seeds we are not gonna use that right now but actually you can eat these seeds they are basically pumpkin seed we can say and you can roast them and eat it later going to put in an oven before that it's just so basic take your oven pan and put some parchment paper it will be way more easy to clean and then put your butternut squash on the top some olive oil salt and black pepper the amount is all depends on you you don't need to put a lot of olive oil it just one tablespoon should be enough half tablespoon each just how big your butternut squash arrange like that i'm just using my hand here you can use some brush basically we just want to spread olive oil salt and pepper all around the butternut squash I heat my oven for 400 Fahrenheit. It's going to cook in the oven first for 30 minutes, but it's gonna keep cooking. Before that, we are going to add some onion and garlic. As you can see, I have one big onion and I had only one small butternut squash. That's why I'm just going to use half of my onion. If you have the same amount of squash, you can just use half or if you have more, you can use a whole onion. I cut in a half so it can roast it easily and also I'm using one clove of garlic which is actually a big clove. So you can use two small clove of garlic to it. After 30 minutes, I'm adding my onion and garlic into pan and keep roasting another 30 minutes. In total, after one hour, they are going to be ready. You can check your butternut squash with knife. If it is soft enough, then that means it is done. If it is not, you can cook a little bit longer. They roasted really good. As you can see, they look delicious even like that. Be sure to let them cool down to not burn yourself. At this time, we are going to melt some butter. One tablespoon of butter take into your pan. Now butter melted, I'm adding delicious fresh sage leaves which is really going good with this soup. You can add dry ones too, but the fresh ones are going to give you the best result. butternut squash have been waiting for about 30 minutes they get cold enough for me to hold it so I'm just going to scoop it with some spoon and put it into my pan I 
I especially wanted to show you guys this video because as you can see in some parts skin was coming off while I was trying to scoop my butternut squash which is okay because skin got soft already in the oven if you have that kind of small parts like mine you can just add into your pan like that that's all how I did you don't need to worry about it now we are adding some salt and also black pepper And I'm adding my own homemade vegetable stock that I freeze it before. That's what you're seeing on the right side, the frozen part a little bit. If you want to learn how to make your own homemade vegetable stock, you can check my recipe. I will put the link on the below, you can find it. And we are covering our pan. They are going to simmer about 30 more minutes to get all the delicious tastes together. After our soup is done, I'm going to put into my blender. If you have hand blender, you can use that one. with some towels so you won't burn yourself in case because I did one time actually and it really hurts after you blend it put into your pan and check the thickness how thick you want you can add a little bit more vegetable stock I add around three cup of vegetable stock some people like a little bit more thicker some people are not or some people are the same like me this part is totally optional you don't have to do it I have some pumpkin seed at home I decided to add on top so it can look a little bit more better and it just give that crunchiness while you are drinking your soup but like I said you don't have to do it at all I hope you guys like this recipe and this video if you try you can let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe like and share so we can cook more delicious foods together for now see you guys in the next videos